And here are the streets of Salt Lake City today as Mayor Erin Mendenhall of Salt Lake City announced she is ending the curfew. She says after seeing the respect that protesters have shown for one another, police and the city, she thinks Salt Lake City is proving itself to be a place of peace and progress. Unfortunately, that was not the case on Saturday when protesters took a violent turn there and a police car was set on fire. We are learning more about charges filed in this case. Officials announcing they're bringing federal charges against at least two people. They're suspected of burning the Salt Lake City police cruiser. Kyle Harvey is live on this one. So Kyle, you had a chance to listen to top law enforcement officials throughout the state. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them here today. Socially distanced just over here. This was the back of their announcement. This is one of the dozen Salt Lake City police vehicles that was heavily damaged during the protest on Saturday. This was an announcement by this group of men that they have taken back the streets. These U.S. attorney for the Salt Lake City area said that there will be sure and swift consequences for anyone who destroys public or private property. He added that there will be punishments for people who damage what he called cherished symbols of liberty like the state capitol that we saw sustain quite a bit of damage as well. Now to that end, Salt Lake City resident Jackson Paxton, as well as another man not yet identified, will be charged with a felony for burning that Salt Lake police vehicle in the street. He said he strongly supported those who came to protest peacefully, but the car burning was what he called the pinnacle event in a meltdown. When outlaws and extremists hijack those events and violate federal law, they will find zero tolerance from me as a United States attorney. Now, if convicted, these two men could face between 5 and 20 years in federal prison. I also was able to speak with Mike Brown, the chief of police here in Salt Lake. He told me about one officer in particular. He actually teared up a little bit. Tell me about the actions of one officer on Saturday night. I'll have that story for you in about an hour at 5 o'clock.